Hi, welcome to another Fresh Egg Short. Today we're going to be looking at robots.txt. What is robots.txt? Well, it's a text file that lives off the main root domain um, and it suggests how crawlers should behave on site. It's great for excluding URLs um, that you want to block, saving Google bot uh, the effort and resource of crawling them in the first place. Um, but it also can have some serious negative impacts um, if you don't know what you're doing and you implement something um, that can block entire paths of your website. So um, the overarching thing of today's topic is to test. Um, there's lots of tools out there. There used to be one for Search Console, but that's um, gone at this point. But there's a really good one on technicalsco.com. Uh, you can use Scream Frog. Uh, if you have access to it in order to troubleshoot problems with robots.txt, uh, highlighting things such as URLs that shouldn't be on there or pages that are only found on there and not found uh, by calling the website in general. Essentially, the main components of a robot.txt file uh, should consist of the ability to have a sitemap on there um, and the ability to be able to allow and disallow particular uh, subfolders or URLs that you don't want Google crawling and indexing. Um, some of the main issues we see are around when people carry over the robots.txt files from their development site onto live. So when that gets copied over, um, you might have a rule in the robots.txt on the UAT or dev site which disallows everything from from crawling so um, which is pretty standard you know you don't want um, Google to crawl and index your content on your dev site um, because you don't want people going there um, so when that gets transferred over uh, occasionally what it can do is disallow all of the content on your live site so just be aware of that when you're rolling out major changes and it's always worth checking back in on your robots.txt file from time to time to make sure that um, uh, it's not becoming too convoluted, too complicated, um, and becoming really difficult for you to understand, um, let alone search engines. So try to avoid mixing allow and disallow parameters. Everything, assume everything is allowed unless you tell it not to. So you can add disallow lines for uh, particular folders or um, things like um, search results on your website. You can disallow that. Uh, just any, any areas that you don't need Google to be crawling and uh, indexing. Uh, another tip is to use comments. So if you use hashtags, in your robots.txt file, um, what you can do is just leave a line, an explanation as to what um, the purpose of the lines beneath it are, um, just allowing it, you to kind of add that human touch so that if someone else comes to have a look at the robots.txt file, they understand uh, the reasoning behind having uh, those lines in there. Um, a really careful one to consider is around using wildcard. So while you might have um, a wildcard for uh, allowing all user agent types, so not blocking particular search engine bots, etc. Um, be careful when applying that to URLs um, because you can inadvertently block entire subfolders and subfolders beneath them. Uh, if you don't really know what you're doing and you're not familiar with kind of how those uh, elements work. Uh, again, going back to that testing piece, really, um, Try it out on um, techseo.com as, as, like I said, a good example where you can uh, put in your robots.txt file, give it some URLs, and it will tell you whether or not they've been excluded from, from being crawled. Um, be careful what you block. Don't block uh, critical resources for pages to load. Uh, don't block images. Don't block uh, things that uh, a search engine will need to get access to in order to understand what content is on a page. Um, just be a bit cautious, overly cautious is probably the best way to be with robots.txt file. Um, and the final thing that you um, need to ensure is up to date on your robots.txt file is the location of your sitemaps. Now you can upload sitemaps on Search Console, which is um, another great way to kind of bolster 
uh, Google's understanding of what URLs you want indexed. But the first place that um, spiders may look is in your robots file. So if you've got a link to your sitemap in there, when they land on the robots.txt file to look for things that they should exclude, they can also see a link to your sitemap and then they can explore and find an index URLs there. So overall, robots.txt, not a robot, but it is a file that can help um, kind of shape what you want search engines to look for on your website. Uh, be careful with it, test with it, and let us know if you need any help.